And the yep. truth is you don't need all that crap. That's just what it, exactly what it is. It's a bunch of crappy advice to help put more money in the pockets of the financial institutions out there. The, the typical model is broken and I, I say this all the time. The, the model is you work hard, you save a particular amount of money that you think you will need when you do retire. And then the plan is to draw that money down because they mm -hmm. assume that your lifestyle is going to be less expensive. And then, then you have to hope that you die before you run out of money. Yeah. And hope that quantitative exactly. easing hasn't inflated, you know, created an inflation monster that uh, has devalued the dollar to a point where what you thought you had to survive on is one tenth of what you actually need, which happens a, a lot with people who are putting their money in places that are earning less than uh, the dollar, you know, is inflating. Yep. That's right. It's, it, it's such a weird backwards world, right? Um, I, I get a lot of people that they're, you know, they've done the traditional mindset, you know, for example, and I, I pick on Dave Ramsey, bless his heart. He's a great man. Right. And he does a lot of good for people. If they're trying to get on a budget, they're spent, they need spendaholics anonymous because they can't control their spending or they're living on minimum wage. They need some sort of discipline. They need some sort of system in order to just get to that finance 101 class, right? That's more like remedial if you do Dave Ramsey's course. The problem is that we got a lot of people, including middle-class, upper-middle-class Americans, following that advice still. And what happens is these people years prior, they're screaming freedom, you know, on their, you know, their little podcast, you know, saying that they paid off all their debt with their mortgage. And then after years, they're still saving and packing money in their 401ks and IRAs. And then they come to me and say, okay, I'm not free. I'll still have to keep working forever. And maybe mm -hmm. I'll have to live on rice and beans uh, for the rest of my life because that's all I can afford. Or, hey, that's even a little bit too expensive. Maybe I eat some ramen noodles. So then my life expectancy goes down. I die faster and I won't run out of money so quickly, <laughs> right? That's really become the financial plan. And we don't want that. We, we want to live a life. We don't want to wait till we're 60,000 years old and hopefully have something there. Um, and so yeah. these people come to me all the time saying, well, what do we do? Uh, you know, I give you an example. I had a guy that came to me, he had $3 million. He actually said in IRAs and 401ks. This guy's packing in six figures a year into his retirement plan. Wow. And you know what his financial advisor said? He was 52 years old. His financial advisor said, keep going. And maybe by 65, you'll make it. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and this guy had a goal to live on half a million a year. That's no small amount of change, right? Um, right. But I said, man, three, 300, you know, $3 million right there. Now, $3 million in the traditional retirement mindset. Um, people used to say the whole 4% rule, you live on 4%. Well, that rule has already been disproven. We were talking about tossing that rule out 15, 20 years ago. Well, mm -hmm. finally, the Wall Street Journal came out last October and said, it shouldn't be 4%. Maybe it should be 3% that you're living on. So think about it. He has $3 million to live on 90,000 a year. And with all the inflation and things going on, that's barely, barely middle-class lifestyle. As mm -hmm. a multi-millionaire, he's barely living middle-class. If you are a millionaire, $1 million living on 3%, that's 30,000 a year. You're a broke millionaire. You're living below the poverty level. Congratulations. And that's before taxes come out. And so when we switch this from an accumulation mindset that we've always been taught to that income, passive income acceleration mindset, what happens now we say, wait, that $3 million, instead of it paying me 90,000 a year, what if I just earned, you know, 8% on that money? That's a quarter million a year right there. And especially if, depending on where you're investing it, you might even get some tax advantages too. Sure. And exactly. so you can get a quarter million versus maybe 90,000 with maybe some better tax benefits. It's the same thing with that millionaire. You know, if you're at a million bucks to 30,000 a year, what if you can live on 80,000 or even 100,000 a year off that money? Completely different life. Oh, same yeah. money. Don't have to work harder. And the truth is, and you guys know this because you guys, you guys have your own fund. You guys pay really better returns or at least as good, if not better than anything the stock market does when it's like this, it's all bipolar. It's all over the place. And you have to mm -hmm. time it just right to jump out of the market. And nobody wants to jump out when it's at its high, like it has been. People want to just kind of keep hanging in there. And then after it goes down for a few years, then they finally jump out after they've lost 20, 30, 40 plus percent of their, their retirement portfolio. And now they're living on a budget, right? They can't afford to do anything else. And now they need social security to live. 
And the yep. truth is you don't need all that crap. That's just what it, exactly what it is. It's a bunch of crappy advice to help put more money in the pockets of the financial institutions out there. Yeah, it's, it's to perpetuate what has been going on um, you know, not, yeah, funneling money from you to, to somebody else. I mean, I, I remember uh, it was probably more than a decade ago, uh, I took a Dave Ramsey class and this, I walk in and I'm talking to people and I can't tell you how many people I talked to that said, yeah, this is my second or my third or my fifth class. Um, I got financially free, but I'm back because, uh, you know, I, I blew it again. And I, I got, I'm like, it's like AA. It's like, it's <laughs> yeah. like, like when I, when I, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't finish the class. So <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, this can't be right. Like, but it, yeah, it's, it's this mindset that people are taught. It's the same thing about putting, put your money in savings and, you know, earn a quarter of a percent while the bank gets your deposits and lends it out at 6% and, you know, and you can't outpace inflation. It's this whole mindset that people fall victim to. It's the way you're supposed to do it. It's these people who have letters behind their names. They're, they're looking out for me. There's no one looking out for you better than you. And when you educate yourself through, you know, like money ripples, Chris My My Miles, like you understand that like, passive income is the way to do it. And in real estate, there's other ways to do it, but you know, we specialize in real estate, but real estate is by far our favorite.